Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. And what do you need to know at this moment? So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. All information for personal readings is in the description box below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. Okay, Leo, you're gonna figure out um, you're going to figure out that somebody's been missing you or I'm just seeing like a text message or call someone uh, letting you know that like they miss you. I'm just hearing I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Emphasis on the I miss you. So things are now turning. There's a plot twist happening here. Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to turn in your favor Finally, you're entering a new cycle, a new cycle, true love, true love is, is coming in, or you already have this person that you're dealing with currently that, um, either you're falling in love with each other, or it's like, um, you are, you both already feel the love there, true love, real love, not that fake, toxic, attached Attaching type of love, but I do feel like um, there's been something you've ha been having a hard time letting go of and this could be something from your past um, This could be like uh, like fears also Yeah, nine of swords literally fears fears of the past repeating itself in a different situation and you've been hesitant with someone's love offer or what somebody's been trying to um, communicate to you. You may have ignored this person or rejected them or not taking them that seriously or you're still just like contemplating like whether or not this person is being genuine. Ten of Cups. So it feels like they want something long term and they feel love. They have a lot of love for you and it's like they're trying to give you the love they're trying to give this to all to you but you're unsure i feel like you've you've had like on and off cycles before and you're changing things are now changing you're speaking up whereas in the past you wouldn't have it's like you're no longer holding back the truth or speaking up um, about how you feel. Like your throat chakra is all the way open now. You are communicating what's been on your mind. I feel like you've been thinking a lot about... Um, about like moving forward and about these options so contemplating things I feel like you're think you have different options or choices in front of you that maybe you're feeling pulled in different directions and you're putting in a lot of thought into it about which direction to go in and I feel like these are different manifestations coming in for you with this ace of swords though you're going to get the clarity. You're going to know what the right choice is for you. I'm hearing breakthrough. Breakthrough moment. And this is also you speaking your truth about um, something that has changed. Or maybe you've changed your mind about something. And, and speaking your truth about where you are now and what you want now. Which you're allowed to do. With this Hierophant. It's a new lifestyle change. Peace. I'm hearing guidance. 
in clarity, being guided, and also being in a position where you guide others. So maybe you're like a therapist or counselor, um, whatever it is. You could even be in the legal field and you're just guiding people along the way. But I see you in a position where you're guiding others and you're giving advice or telling someone the truth, telling something something that they need to hear, that they need to know. The, the, the cold, hard truth, the raw truth, it's like no longer holding back. Um, I feel like you've seen somebody really struggle or have a lot on their shoulders, a lot of responsibility, and they've been kind of going through an uphill battle. And it's like you're here to tell them, like, you need to drop some of this, this burden. So... You have someone coming towards you. They're coming towards you very romantic, wanting to like sweep you off your feet, literally, or expressing deeper emotions to you, how they've been feeling. Again, I was hearing I miss you. And we have true love. And I'm seeing unconditional. Whoever this person is, they see you as someone who they want to have true unconditional love with. And they're falling in love with you if they're not already in love with you. And they see themselves like growing old or older with you. Strong Cancer energy. I'm also picking up on Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, so I see divine intervention here. I want to know. Tell me, what is this divine intervention about? Oh, intimacy. <laughs> okay. And twin flame at the bottom of the deck so intervention interesting intervention are you having an intervention with someone or someone is like because you're in this king of swords energy where I see you like speaking the truth or telling someone someone something that they really need to hear Also, I see you getting more closer or intimate with someone. What else? Okay, fears. Facing your fears. The divine is stepping in in order for you to get over um, a fear. Maybe a fear of getting too close or opening up or being vulnerable with someone. Because... Things are things are changing. I'm seeing the grass is greener. Things are things are changing. Divine masculine. You may be this divine masculine or this there's fears in regards to a divine masculine, but this divine masculine, like they want to move forward in your direction. But again, I've seen this person kind of um also come to like a brief stop where they've been like which direction this way or that way they don't want this to be over with you but they see that you're not taking any action they see you as um working on yourself in peace. They see you at peace. And they I'm here in communication. So yeah, this person is um wanting to communicate something to you. Tell you some, or bring you some truth. They want to come into your direction and give you like a more serious offer and they they want to take things um maybe slow with this knight of pentacles they want to take something slow or move forward towards something slowly because there's still um there's still something that is needing to end or complete itself and so that could be why they're defensive or they're kind of like um i feel like they 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 caught themselves off guard with how they feel 
but they feel like there's a lot of unconditional love here. I'm seeing divine timing. So in divine timing, I do see things moving forward towards a partnership, moving on from conflict and anger towards a more peaceful place. Surrender, surrender to the timing, surrender to divine timing because things are going to happen naturally here. There's no need to force anything. Okay. Rejection. I do see you've rejected someone or any or maybe if you've been rejected, that was um that was a way to redirect you towards this true love. Chaser, someone's coming in. Someone's about to chase you. Pursue you. <gasps> soulmate. Yeah. You have a soulmate coming in. But there's a spiritual awakening happening first. You're going to... Or this person's going to trigger a spiritual awakening in you. Or you're going to trigger a spiritual awakening in this person. Tell me about this divine timing. Okay. Someone is needing to break free from like an addictive cycle. Which is why it's... I'm hearing it's not a matter of if but just when. Either if this is you or someone else. Divine Feminine. We saw Divine Masculine. So much Divine, Divine, Divine. This is divinely orchestrated and divinely planned. And so I'm hearing there's nothing that's going to get in the way of like messing this up. This, this love or this connection. There's nothing that's going to get in the way of that. You're moving towards a more serious relationship. But you need to let go and you need to surrender first. Surrender. Allow things to move forward at their own pace. This person's moving in your direction. Um, but they were definitely taking it slower. But they're coming in with the romance too. So, and The high priest is here. You're going to know. You're going to know um, where this is going. Two weeks, hearing two weeks, two months. In the next two weeks to two months. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, strength. Everything is under control. It feels maybe it feels like a challenge right now, or like there's an obstacle. And strength also talks about patience. Patience is needed, but your patience is going to pay off. You're going to gain more confidence in yourself as well. A random message. You're going to gain more confidence in yourself or you're going to start to see yourself like just glowing. You're going to be very happy with like your appearance, how you look, how you present yourself, um, where things are moving and headed in your life. You know where things are. Are, are headed intuitively but sometimes you you confuse it with your with your more logical side but you got good things coming in you got true love unconditional love that can't be rushed it can't be forced and it's gonna it's gonna happen unexpectedly I'm seeing the number 10, 7, 2, 6, the letters S, R, D, T, I, U, and L. So those numbers, they could be birthdays, the letters, it could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm picking up. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.